Life is full of stories to be told about our present and past experiences using several means and forms. In Africa, oral storytelling has been a significant means of preserving customs, beliefs, traditions, behaviors, and significantly defending our social order. For centuries, it was a common practice at night in calm settings to have children sit around a fireside held spellbound by the narration of oral stories by parents, guardians, and older relatives. This practice is fast fading in our daily interactions at family level, despite it being what many regard as one of the effective ways of training and preparing our children for the world. Sira Songo is a participant at the National Storytelling Competition and belongs to a new generation, most of whom benefit little or not at all from the joys and lessons of storytelling. Sira is not happy about the present-day diminishing of oral storytelling tradition. As I am speaking to you right now, I am not comfortable with that because it is not something which is advisable. And in life, in, in, in any aspect of it you do, there are two things, which is the advantage and the disadvantage. So at this point, it is very disadvantageous to us young ones, the, the upcoming ones in, in general. Aware of the significance of storytelling in our society, the Young Writers Association of the Gambia has mobilized children from different schools for the first ever national storytelling competition to inspire a commitment to telling stories about ourselves. Nine made it to the finals on Tuesday, which is centered on the theme, Our Culture, One Identity in Traditional Gambian Society. Modlamin H. al Sau is an author and founder of the Young Writers Association of the Gambia. The Gambia of yesterday, when people had value and had so much respect in society. The Gambia of yesterday, when women in fact wore wrappers, they fell side to even you know, hang their drawings outside where people can actually see them or visitors can see. There was shame, there was value, there was culture, there was respect or tradition, there was etiquette. But nowadays society has failed us and we have failed ourselves woefully and we fail to revive most of these things. In a spectacular display of talent in the national storytelling competition, participants dressed in traditional costumes tell stories, mostly in our local languages, to recollect and send lessons about our tradition, culture and values that define our collective identity as a nation. It certainly was an a boring event, but a night to display of the beauty of various art forms, including musical performance. At the end of the hotly contested competition, the competition's chief judge, Michael Hamadiseka, announced the result, naming green partners from Nusrat Senior Secondary School, Aswina, followed by Maria Mafade from Sifo, Asronop, and Mighty Stars in third position. The current lack of storytelling at home is blamed on the impact of technology, globalization and fast changing economic factors on our society. These have led to little or no time to tell stories, including about our historical legends, beliefs, culture, customs and traditions that were effectively passed from one generation to another through storytelling. Umodlamin Chai, QTV News.